Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low-budget wonder. Now check this out. Here I've got about two pounds of pork cushion meat from the picnic shoulder mussel. And the last time we used this, I was showing you how to cook a breaded pork chop. But today, we just need something like this, so we can start portioning our size for the meat grinder. All you're going to need is strips like this. Now everything's going to be seasoned to taste, but I like to go ahead and cover it with a few pinches of salt and pepper. Now I'm going to slice up about one pound of bacon, but if you've got fat back available to you, use that instead. Now for this recipe, we're going to grind the meat twice using a large die and a small die. And starting with the large die first, we can turn the machine on about halfway, and then we can start stuffing our cushion meat into the meat grinder. And in real time, it'll crank out this fast. Then I just do the same thing with the bacon. And you'll see a big difference in fat content as that grinds out. But this is real important because this is what's going to help give us our sausage flavor. That's why I do about a 1 to 3 ratio. 2 pounds of ground pork and 1 pound of ground bacon. Now just add some minced garlic, some fresh parsley, some fennel seed, Italian seasoning, paprika, and red chili flakes. Then I just drop a dough hook down in there and give it a good mix. And don't forget that all the exact ingredients for this recipe can be found on my website. Now you want to just go ahead and push this back into the meat grinder using the smaller die. And once all of that's knocked out, you need to add a binder. You can use red wine and vinegar if you want, but today I'm going to use corn syrup and I'm going to add some vegetable shortening. That will sweeten this up and ensure that your sausage doesn't dry out when you're cooking it. And of course as a binder, it'll hold it all together. Now here I'm going to lay down some saran wrap instead of stuffing sausage casings. Drop this sausage right in the center and then you're going to take the end closest to you and fold it over and roll it straight through. Then you just pinch off the ends and spin. And that will refrigerate and freeze with no problems. You also want to marinate this for about 24 hours before you try cooking it. And if you want, you can just smash it out into patties. And as you can see here, it cooks real nice. And there you have it. Italian sausage right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.